In this video, I use a door sensor to know when I get mail in my mailbox. So I'm here at the bottom of the driveway. That's where the mailbox is. Uh, now today I'm gonna install this door sensor as a mailbox having received mail kind of sensor. Yeah, um, my driveway is fairly long. Um, if I don't have to walk down to see if the mail's been here, that's great. So I thought, hey, why don't I put a sensor on it? Now there's a few issues with that that I'll go through and I'll try and solve. First of all is that I don't have any Zigbee coverage down here. I don't have any Bluetooth coverage. I only have Wi-Fi um, and that's based on my solar panel uh, and connected to that, which is linked there for the video for that, if you want to see how I set that up. Um, so I needed to find a Wi-Fi sensor, uh, and this is just a contact sensor. They're always called door and window sensors, but it's just a contact, right? You connect the two. So this is Wi-Fi enabled. It should last about a year on the batteries. So we'll see. Um, ask me again in a year. And um, the other issue or two more issues I have or, or conundrums that I need to solve is how do I know that it's not a false positive? So as in, what if someone comes and checks the mails and they're not the mail person? Um, that hasn't been here, right? So how do I know that? And then the other one is that, how do I reset it? Like once it's said, hey, mail's been here. How do I reset it? So of those three things I'm gonna solve, hopefully. <laughs> um, and, but first of all, we're gonna install this. Now, I've chosen this so, uh, door and window sensor from Clever Life. There it is. Um, I'll link to it below as well. Um, I chose this one because, well, as I said, it's Wi-Fi enabled, but also it's based on the Tuya platform. And Tuya is like a generic platform for everything IoT. So there's a Tuya app, T-U-Y-A. There's an app and there's a million things there that you can adopt into your Tuya network. And the reason I want to use Tuya is that I can then integrate that with Home Assistant. I know. So we're going to go through all that. I'm going to install this sensor. I'm going to adopt it or integrate it into Tuya. And then I'm going to use that integration into Home Assistant and then set up some notifications. And then we're going to solve those two issues of false positives. What we, hmm, are we going to solve them? Let's see. But we're going to give it a go. False positives and resetting the actual sensor so it's ready for well, the next day. Right? Hmm. Okay. So here we go. All right. I'm going to try and install the... Clever Life, it's a great name, isn't it? Um, let me just show you what's in the box. There's a really big fat battery, which I haven't seen before, which is a three volt battery. So that's obviously because it's gonna, car, we're gonna road. It needs to last a bit longer, right? Because it's a CR17450, whatever that is. And then the actual sensor. Now, have you ever used any door sensors or window sensors before and they've been Zigbee, they've been really small? This is not, <laughs> um, this is quite, quite hefty. Let me just get it out of the book bag here look at that sucker and that's obviously because it's Wi-Fi enabled it needs to be bigger it needs to have the big battery in it and then there's the passive thing so if the, the way these works is contact sensor it's just that they once they're contacted that's it right that's all you need and then it comes a, you give you get a notification and you can do something with that notification now I'm gonna make a, a message on my phone saying you got mail maybe a little jingle I don't know um, but first thing is to obviously put the battery into this big thing here. I wonder how I open it. I actually don't know. I haven't um, haven't used this before. Shouldn't be that difficult. Ah, uh, it's a slidey thing. Look, and then it comes off. All right, now we've seen everything in it. Uh, I'll take the plastic off the battery here somehow. Another car. Hello, neighbor. It's really well wrapped. There we go. Okay. Plus to plus. So yeah, that's how you get it off. It's a slidey thing. So we put that back on and we can just slide it back up. So now there's a little tiny, little tiny switch on the back here. And I think I'm going to turn that on. Action. Ah, oh, that's clever. I get it now. That sticks out, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it sticks out a little tiny bit, like three mil, two mil. So when you when we put this inside the mailbox, it'll push that in and it'll activate it. Aha, clever. So, I'm gonna put it in here, right there, on that side there. And then the passive thing, I'm gonna put that on here. And then when it closes, it'll actually sit right next to it, like that. Yeah, so that's the plan. 
So I'm going to take the 3M sticker on here. So I've already cleaned this up in here, so it's very nice and smooth. Uh, you might have to clean it up a bit if you're installing it. But let's put that on in here. Like so. Right there. Give it a good squish so it sits there. Nice. And then I need to obviously match this one to there. So that's got to sit right about there. Oh, did I get that a little bit wrong? I think I got... That should be all right. In any case, I'm gonna put that just there. This is the tricky bit. If you've got a good tip for this, let me know in the comments how this should be done better. And just there. Alrighty. I think that'll work. If not, I'll just adjust it so that it's close enough, but you get the idea. Put it so that the contact is uh, there when it's closed and we get an event when it's open. Hopefully that's simple. Now let's try and adopt it into the Tui app and um, see how that works. So this is the Tui app that I've opened here and uh, up the top right you see there's a little plus. So if you're not familiar with the app you can click on that and click add device. I'm going to go to the sensors section and if you scroll down there's a contact sensor Wi-Fi which I will add. You can see there's a ton of different things you can add with the Tui app. Now I did get this notification I wasn't on 5 gigahertz network, but anyway. So the uh, little light on the actual sensor will be blinking. Make sure it is blinking rapidly, which means you are adding, uh, it's in pairing mode, and you can add it to the Tuya uh, app and sort of, you know, adopt it into it. So it takes a few seconds. There are a lot of Tuya devices out there, and a lot of them are rebranded. For example, this Clever Life that I'm uh, using here has been rebranded. It is a Tuya platform device. And a lot of the devices will be uh, compatible with Tuya, which means you can get them into Home Assistant. And it's worth knowing that. Well, there we go. We've added it. it. took about 20 seconds. We've added that contact sensor, and you can see there is a door alarm notification coming up as well. So this particular device has a few alarms that we'll look at in just a second. So I'm just going to rename it. Always rename your devices to something that makes sense. I'm going to call this one Mailbox Sensor and then just done. I'm not going to add it to any room because it's, well, it's not in a room. So now we have, oh, we can set a notification test. Yep, sure, we can test the notifications are working. So click on test if you want to do that. And then that uh, takes it through this little wizard thing and tells, hey, here's some things you can do depending on what kind of, um, you know, device you have. So two again is quite generic. And now we've set up the mailbox sensor and we're going to get a notification when we open the, uh, the well, I open my mailbox, I get this a notification on the left here, mailbox sensor was open, please check in time. I don't know why that says that, but anyway. And you can see here, uh, if we click on the little cog icon at the bottom right, there are several alarms we can set up in the Tui app. So this is not Home Assistant, just in the Tui app. But now it's in Tui app and we can then start integrating it with Home Assistant. All right, let's have a look at how we set this up in Home Assistant then. Now I'm gonna need two automations for this and I'll walk you through them. So first of all, let's go have a look at the new entity that we've got. So one way of getting to that is through the integration. So here's all my integrations. I can go to Tuya, the integration. I have eight devices on Tuya. And you can see here is the one I called Mailbox Sensor. Um, and here's you know, just a few, there's only two actual entities uh, for this device which is the mailbox sensor, currently open it says, and the battery, which is at 100%. So um, I can change the name of this if I want to, um, or just leave it, I'm just gonna leave it as mailbox sensor. What I do wanna do though, is maybe just change the icon, just cause I can. So there's a one of the uh, newer additions is that you have this icon picker, which is really nice. So I'm gonna set this to a mailbox outline, like so. Uh, but other than that, I'm not gonna change anything. So I'll just update that. And now it looks like a mailbox. Yay! So we're going to create two automations. We're going to create an automation that uh, triggers the notification that says, hey, it's opened and you got mail. And then I'm going to uh, then disable that automation. I'm going to have a second automation which enables the automation again. That's how I get around the resetting it once a day. Now, let's, let's go through it, right? So I'm going to go back here to... Oh, back more 
to my automations. Again, I'm going to do an automation in the in the GUI here. Um, now you might want to use YAML, you might want to use Node Red, whatever your tool is. It's just easier to explain with the uh, with the UI here. So let's set up a new automation. We're going to go and call this "You've Got Mail" because why not? And the trigger is going to be a device, and that device is going to be our mailbox sensor. And no, we don't want to know about the battery level, at least not yet. We want to know when the mailbox sensor is opened, right? So that's the trigger, just when it opens. We just want to know about that. All right, and then we have an action. We're going to have two actions. One is going to be a call a service, and this is going to be the notification service to my Pixel 5, so that my phone, which is here. I'm going to use that. And then what is the message going to say? It's going to say, you've got mail and that's the message now i could say title i could say mailbox opened so that's the title of the notification if i want to you don't need to have a title if you don't want to um, and that's the first action so just send a notification hey you got mail and then the second action is going to dis be disabling this automation now there are probably other ways of doing this and you can put it below in the comments if you want to tell me how to do this automation another way but I've chosen to then disable the automation once I've got mail, and then I'm gonna enable it again uh, at midnight. So this is going to be a uh, service, and this is going to be automation turn off, and we're gonna choose an entity. So an automation is an entity. And it's, what do we call this entity? It's gonna be mail, Actually, it's not there yet. We're going to save this and we're going to uh, disable ourselves. So let me just get back to that. I'm just going to delete this one. Yes, I'm going to delete that action. I'm going to save this particular automation. And now we can see here, we've got, you know, you've got mail is what it's called. So now I should be able to add the action of disabling this automation. So automation turn off choose an entity and you've got mail it's the automation so it's going to disable itself right so sort of <laughs> sort of like it it sends the notification and it goes oh i'm going to sleep and then it, it disables itself and, and that's it that's all we're going to do save that and then i'm going to go back and i'm going to create a second automation and this will be called enable mail automation because that's what we're doing and the device the trigger type for this sorry not the device the trigger type is going to be a time right a fixed time 12 a.m midnight yep that's where we want to trigger it so that every day it gets reset and then this is going to again, again be call service we're going to call this automation turn on choose the entity and search for mail and I'm gonna turn on you got mail. That's it. So that gets us around the uh, resetting the automation once a day. So once the mailbox is open, I'm not gonna get the notifications again. Now it's not gonna get us out of the false uh, positives. So as in if someone else comes and opens the mailbox. I'm not 100% sure how I could do that with home automation other than maybe having some sort of magic AI that would recognize an image from the camera at the gate. And that's getting a bit complex. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to educate my household, <laughs> right? I think that's probably an easier way. And there's going to be a bit of trial and error, but I think that's the best way of doing this. Not everything can be solved with home automation. Not everything. And I'm going to save this here. And I'm going to go back here. And then I'm just going to... So my, my, my mailbox is actually, like, I'm sitting in my office now, as you can see. The mailbox is about 200 meters that way. So, and now it's getting sort of evening. I can't be bothered walking all the way down there and then back up again just to show you notification. So I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to have, whoop, here we go, just get my phone going here. I'm going to have a notification by just triggering the automation. Right, that's easier. So let's go down to you got mail and I can run the action as if the mailbox was being opened. You know, we saw before that that 
we got the notification through. That was a two-year notification, but same idea. It's triggering the mailbox uh, or the sensor on the mailbox. So I'm going to run this action like so. And here we go. I don't know if you can see it there. It says mailbox opened. You've got mail. And if I press on it, it should go and open up Home Assistant and take me uh, to that automation or that, that uh, device. So that's it. And you can see even on the screen now, it's disabled it. Right, so down here you can see it's now that automation has been disabled and then I can then run the other one which is to enable which is up here enable mail automation so let me run that like so and you can see it's now enabled again so that's my setup and again it's a pretty simple way of doing it but I think it's really useful it's super useful to know when the mail has been delivered hmm? and it's just with a simple contact sensor yeah very good there we go. Mailbox sensor done. So if you enjoy the content on the channel, please do subscribe down below. Um, if you want to support the channel even more, you can join uh, a membership or just give us a comment. Like how would you have done this differently? Or is there something I've missed maybe? Um, but you know, I've solved the three things. You know, know when I've got mail, uh, know about false positive, sort of, and then resetting it as well. And that was sort of what I set out to do. Hey neighbor, hello. Yep, there are cars here. Um, so I've got mailbox sensor right there. It closes. I get notified. Hooray. So thanks for watching, and I hope you see you in the next video. Bye. Talk amongst yourselves.